What's up guys? We get zero views here. My name is Talos and finally we are in the end game as they say. Ooh, I didn't know I could do that. I didn't know I could do that. What the shit? All this time I played this game, I didn't know I could do a spinneroony or something like what whatever that is. I don't even know how I did it. What the How did I do that? There it is. Oh, that is so cool! Did anybody know that? Oh my god, anyway. We are back with some more Pokemon Scarlet. And yes, our girl here, Scarlet, um, or Sophia Scarlet, I should say, is now in her way to the end game. Obviously, in the last episode, we did go ahead and defeat um, a lot of the, the bigger missions that are left, so like... You know, we, we obviously we did Caspia, we did we did the, the Mona stuff with the Victory Road. Um, we finished Arvin, and now we're supposed to get some kind of phone call or something like that. I don't know. Do we have to like maybe leave? Let's go to the entrance hall, I guess, and uh, maybe uh, maybe it'll activate there. We're supposed to get some kind of notification from like Arvin, and um. Like, let us know that, yeah, like, I, I found the team, let's, let's do it. We're, he's assembling the Avengers as we speak. This is like the best deep song ever. There it is! Sophia! Penny? Pennywise! There's something I want to talk to you about. Can you meet me at the front of the school stairs? You know, where we first met. I'll be waiting. Okay, that's uh, not the call I was expecting. I thought it was going to be Arvin. But no, it's Penny. Pennywise. But I I'm sure this leads to the next adventure. I'm a little bit kind of sad too. Like This is like, like almost like the ending of the game, guys. Very, very sad. But we have an epic series coming up next. And it's not Pal Worlds, but I'm thinking about that too. <laughs> Hasta la vista. I, I can never pronounce that correctly. The six of us thought of that catchphrase back when we... Yeah, yeah, that's not a good catchphrase. Not, not one bit what, whatsoever. <laughs> it was so cringy, it's perfect. <laughs> By the way, number one dad. Because I have Bash and Belly here, and I put Hunter to sleep. Boom! Boom. And also cringy too. Anyway, uh, about the LP thing. I thought about going down big time for hacking the lead point system, you know, like, but they're, they let me off a little bit easy. What happened? Because I'm nosy. Um, the Pokemon League said that they'll waive my debt if I do some volunteer engineering for them. They even asked me to come back for them after I graduate, if you can believe that. Director Cavell and that greedy lady, like, La Primera, kept uh, complimenting me like a, a weird amount. I don't like it. Apparently I'm an outstanding talent, whatever that means. Sorry for calling you out like this, uh, to meet me like this. Um, I'm still not so great at meeting people face to face. I never seem to find the right words, but um... Th thank you so much. You saved Steam Star, my friends along with it. I know words will never be enough to properly thank you for all you've done, so here. Here's some money that I also stole. I'm just kidding. Ooh, I think that's a pretty good move. Dragon type, I believe. I, I, I gotta check that out. I might give that... Uh, that's, that's something I haven't really done much of before the end game is actually um, look at my TMs to see like what I got and maybe give better moves. I'm sure you put it to good use. And one more thing. I want to repay the debt I owe you. If, if you ever think of a way I can do that, let me know. Uh, money is nice. Money is nice. Or, or a new Lamborghini. Um, I'm great with machines and hackings. Okay, maybe you can make me a Lamborghini. How about that? But next time, I'll be the one helping you, Sophia. I, sh I, I do want that Eevee bag as well. That's a pretty sick bag. Hasta la vista. It's still cringy. Still cringy. All right. So that wasn't the phone call I was receiving. That was, that was for the the Starfall Street complete. 
Alright. So I must look at another scene with... There it is! Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I'm, I get too excited. Get, it's like it's, it's like in real life. I, I get excited when I get a phone call. Unless it's a, a spam call, then, then I avoid it. Yo! Arvin here! But wow! Yo, whoa, down boy! Oh, that, that was... <laughs> That was a dog. Whoa, down boy, don't jump up like that. Seems like you're hearing a voice of my old oh, Mabosif. Here he all worked up, oh Sophia. Oh, that's why I called, I forgot. I nearly forgot. You remember that when we talked about it before, you know, the thing about you and I, about tar starting this old Team Avengers thing? Yeah, yeah, about that. Going to Area Zero, with, with see my mom and everything like that. Uh, no, I forgot. At least try to take it seriously, would you? Don't you remember our talks in the lighthouse? With all that stuff I talked about, and you beat me, and all that jazz, and then most of it also attacked, and you got all crazy? Yeah, we built some goodwill and all that good stuff. Well, anyway, I've been able to secure us two allies who want to go to Area Zero with us. They're crazy as us. They might even be ready to take and tackle me down. I'm just like, what is he saying? And now we got all got to right to this point right now. First step is gathering at area zero. I'll be ready waiting at the zero gate. I'll send you the location on your phone too, cause I can hack as well, cause I you know I got I got, a, I got somebody on my team. Anyway, don't leave me hanging forever, brother. Oh yeah! Okay, um That's it looks like a spaceship, but okay. Anyway, I'll be waiting. Bow wow! Bow <laughs> oh man, I got too much coffee today. <laughs> Bow wow, whippy yo, yippee yay. Bow wow wow, yippee yo, yippee yay. Got the bow wow wow, bow wow wow. Okay, anyway, how the hell do I go there? Okay, from. See, if you remember, uh, if you remember, because I remember, I think, that I said it's probably gonna be from Madale. I don't know if you could find clips of that, but yeah, I know, I, I knew about it. I, I knew about this. I wasn't lying. I know Pokemon games sometimes. Okay, anyway, let's fight this point. I'm just excited, guys. I'm excited because, uh, like, obviously it's end of February, and February has some great games coming out, and I can't wait to start a brand new series. I mentioned this uh, before already, but I definitely, definitely want to play some. Final Fantasy games. Um, I, I tried Final Fantasy uh, 16, but I don't know. It wasn't really jiving with people. I, I don't. I don't really know why. Um, it, it was kind of mostly, I think, Square Enix's fault, to be honest. Uh, you know, just kind of throw it out there because they didn't really promote it. But um, I think, though, I think um, I would hope anyway that they promoted this one effectively enough to actually secure some people like. Pretty much fan care, really. So, um, and that—that's what I think is gonna happen. Is it this cave? I think it is. I was gonna climb higher, but I guess I didn't need to. But yeah, I'm excited for that game. Hey, over here. That's a scary looking alley. <laughs> you can get like jumped in there. I'm not speaking from experience, though. This is the Zero Gate! It was made with research, so try to reserve the inside of the great crater of Paldea. Oh yeah! Um, what, what folks call Area Zero is our ticket down to the crater. Oh, wait, speaking of the crater, you know that Pokemon of yours that gave... Yeah, that, that, that one. Area Zero is apparently where Corridon was born or something like that. Can we actually use Corridon now? I haven't used Corridon in like... Well, besides, you know, the other stuff I've been using him for, like... <laughs> riding him around and flying him, climbing mountains. Maybe you'll be happy to fly to come back home. E.T. phone home, as they say. Not that I really care or anything. Anyway, our two new teammates should be waiting for us inside of Area Zero, or Zero Gate. I uh, guess we should head in. I mean, who is it going to be? It has to be Nimona. It has to be Penny. Who, who, who else is it going to be? Oh 
Oh yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Kind of dark in here. Scary a little bit. Oh, there she is. There she blows. Um, Namona. Hola, Sofia. Hi. Arvin said there's a ton of strong Pokemon here. So here I am. I love Pokemon. And killing them. When she heard she got into a battle, awesome Pokemon. Wait, what? Wait. Oh. <laughs> when she heard she gets into a battle, some awesome Pokemon. She was here in a second. She's an annoying little pest at the academy. But I guess you can come in handy for this. Spoken like a real guy who seems to get beaten up in battle a lot. Wow. Hostility. And most importantly, why so dark? And where's the last Pokemon you promise? Yeah, it is weird when the lights are off. <laughs> last time I was here, the electricity was up and running, but now... Oh, there it is. Well, oh, well, now the lights are on. But why? I, I, I turned them on. You guys are idiots. Seems like they were just in a power saving mode. Don't you guys read the manual? I had to do the two system controls and overrode the settings. No big deal. We got a little Tommy Stark over here. Oh, it's you. The kid with the fluffy Eevee bat. Interesting. Uh, I guess. My name's Penny. Well, hey! Never got a chance to actually talk. I'm the Mona. I'm the class IA. You must be some kind of tech whiz. I love it. Do you like Pokemon Battle 2? Because I want to battle you right now. Oh, you talk like way too much. Slow it down. The director introduced us. When you need someone good with tech, she's a no-brainer. Because she has brains. Because I'm no brain. I don't know if that makes any sense. Anyway. Penny has been here a greet in a second when she heard it was up to us to help Sophia. I'm not really the adventuring type, but I owe you a lot, Sophia, so I pay my debts. She's surprising old fashioned like that. I like it. Anyway, um, oh, of course, anyone knows me. I'm Marvin, the guy with the voice. Um, I love include my love. <laughs> my loves include my most of it cooking and. Uh, Biometric identification in progress. Biometric identification in progress. Hello, Sophia. I've been expecting you. And it seems you got a group of your little Avenger ally friends. Uh, sorry, who are you? I wasn't in the main story, so I don't know. Yeah, that's my mom. I hate her. Probably. No, I definitely do. <laughs> what? That's Professor Sada? Lumona, student ID number 805C's... Well, eight, it, should be, it should be more like 805Charlie is 001. And Penny, student ID number 803Bravo121. I thank you for coming as well. Of course, Professor. Oh my god, you're such an honor to meet you in person. I mean, maybe not in person exactly, but... Arvin! <laughs> Sorry, wrong voice. Ar Arvin, did you uh, tell your mom about us? Ooh, and would I have done that? I'm not that smart or crafty. To begin with, he is he's true, he's not that smart or crafty. But I'd like to ask you all to make your way down to the gate crater of Paldea. You can reach the lower chamber using the elevator you could see on the right that I opened generously for you. Yeah, mom. Please proceed below. I will not wait. Ugh. Are they not in good terms? Yeah, must not be. <laughs> I like I'm not even talking. I'm like the side protagonist. All right. Anyway, can we? Is there like a? Is there a chest? Okay. Apparently, I can't go there. What, what's up with the frame rate of the game? I'm not sure we saw that job of frame rate. That's the one thing that, that that's a big critique with uh, this game is like the 
Like, there's like nothing happening, but I, I, my frames dropped. Okay, anyway, um, yeah. Okay, let's talk to him real quick. Guess we better proceed. Boo as requested. Sada used to be really famous, right? Everyone knew who she was. But she just hasn't been in the media in like ages. I wonder if Professor's a good at Pokemon battling. Alright. Let's do this. This might be a long, long episode as well. Just because we haven't really done anything. <laughs> I like that I just do stuff in my in my 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 series. Not just talking. Biometric and deficient in progress. Identities confirmed. Why are you like sound like a robot right now? Access granted to a lower level. Ooh, it opened first automatically! It's like magic. Eh, not quite. It looks like someone's controlling this thing remotely. Once you step through, you'll be above the area zero. Shouldn't be below? But zero. Sophia, you, you brought Cordon with you, right? E no. I do not believe every case. <laughs> I like I like it no matter what you choose, like it doesn't matter anyway, but so that's why I always choose a negative response, especially in a Pokemon game, because the response is like so, so funny. If you utilize Corridon's gliding ability, you should be able to descend into the depths. What about the other people though? <laughs> what about the other people? What, isn't there like an elevator or something? But wait, did you say Corridon could fly? When you reach the bottom, I will get in touch with you once again. I hope your trip is uneventful. <laughs> That's rare rolling pe people. Rare rolling people in the stuff, just like always, always. I can't wait to see what put my limb down there in Area Zero. Let's go. That girl, is she like incapable of fear or something? I guess. I guess we better go. All right, my my Avengers. Avengers! Assemble. Sophia, right for the worse. Ooh, ooh, uh. Before I do, before I do, let me save. Pretty sure I can save while I'm in there, but I wanna save right now. Cause things are about to get freaky up in here, and it's not gonna be me! Oh, wait, actually, I wanna talk to uh, everyone else real quick. Cause this is like the final moments. Whoa, ho, ho, look, Sophia. This is even higher up than I'm looking down at the top of the lighthouse. It is a pretty deep crater. I was like, what the hell happened here? I can't see anything but clouds. How far down do you think it goes? I don't know. All right, ready for the worst. Good, good. That's all I need here. Get out that Pokemon of yours and we eat you off. But are we all going to be able to fit? Agias! What's the matter with it? Huh. Scared of heights, I see, huh? That's what I'll say. <laughs> no wonder. But no need to be scared if we're all together. How does that logic work, though? Get on! We're all gonna fall and die. <laughs> Four of us can't fit in this. <laughs> Why am I dangling? <laughs> this is like the most dangerous thing ever. You better not let go. Okay. And the end. Credits roll. Everyone died. All right, how's the frame rate here? <laughs> it is pretty foggy though, like what the, what the geez. How's the air? Is it like toxic? Are we gonna die? And now, I'm back here again. 
<laughs> I think I might have died once or twice up there. I guess, I guess. It's okay, bud. Yes! It chose to go back to its ball? It's probably just... It's probably just hungry or something. <sighs> anyway, wait a second. Where's that stupid council girl? Did she die? What? She's gone. I don't think she... Everybody look at this! You gotta see this! This is amazing! Come on already! I guess your ability would be your own temple, huh? Biometric deficient progress, four humans identified, condition satisfactory. So you sound, see this is like getting very sus right now, like you said it sounds very robotic. Valid signs all within normal range. It appears you were able to make the descent without being harmed. <laughs> yeah, sure. Smooth sailing, as they say. Who could possibly complain about landing like that? That is good. <laughs> Had concerns you might fail given the crudeness of the only available access method. Hmm. I think your mom's sarcasm detector needs fixing. <laughs> Aw, you worried about it as a sweet. You should now make your way up to Area Zero, your deepest part of the Area Zero. Oh, wait. Zero Lab. Yeah, yeah. I, I can read, guys, I swear. I can read. The entrance to the lab is barred with four locks installed on the exterior, which I cannot unlock. Except that one time about the, the Dreamer thing. I, I didn't read that one properly. Uh, four locks. On your way to me, you must visit four research stations that were constructed inside the crater. All right, I bet they had like have like bosses in there probably. In each station, you'll be able to disable one of the locks. Do so, and you make your way down. Hope you succeed. Good luck. Yes, let's disable the four locks and get into the lab. Sounds kind of like a video game, and when you say it out loud, huh? <laughs> Says trying to be meta. Come on, time to find the deepest part of the area zero. Let's do this. Alrighty then. Alright, I haven't seen anything super fantastic. Oh, that's kind of cool. They're all here. Oh, this is cool. Okay, they're, 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 they're not like disappeared and weird. So I can't use Coronal right now, so we have to walk. Fantastic. Is there any items back here? I don't think there is. The music got all weird and suspicious. Alright, here's one. There we go. Oh, I bet that's what we're looking for. That must be one of the buildings the professor was talking about. Oh yeah, that's what they called rat radish rations or rat radish rat radish stations, radish rations, research stations. <laughs> well, that was close. My god, my teammates are idiots. Wow, this is great memory, Penny. Yeah, my teammates are idiots. That's confirmed. What's great in my common sense compared to you? <laughs> well, apparently. And I'm just silent, not even talking. Oh no! That's one of uh, the, which called called uh, La Primera's um, Pokemon. That's Pokemon La Primera uses. I, I didn't know that species could be found in Great Cut Raider. Come on, Sophia. Let's take it all together. Gliam! Wow. It's almost like a, a techno sci-fi. Okay. Battle. Not, effect not effective and <laughs> barely effective. Ooh, not effective at all. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, because uh, I really like this song, man. This song is awesome. 
Poison spikes? What the G's? I, I guess it doesn't matter. Are there like a lot more of the, these red Pokemon down here, you think? You think that was something? Please! You got no idea how terrifying Area Zero really is. Wow. Patronizing much? Easy, you two. This is inside and research. It's all cool. It's all cool. No sweat. All right, let's see what the, the hubbug is about. Ooh. Not really, but ooh. <laughs> wow. Look at these ancient ruins. They look far too recent for that, though. It appears you have reached your first research station without incident. Yes, I was stalking you this entire time. This facility was uh, constructed 87 years ago at, as a way for the uh, station for us to... Oh wait, let me reread that. <laughs> this facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way station for those service surveying areas here. <laughs> Close enough. So that's why there's a bed. Looks like they use this place to rest up if, if we need to. Sophia, if you were be so kind to disable the first lock on the lab using that central panel there. Uh, okay, can I, can I rest first? <laughs> I guess this is a, a, like another version of like a Pokestop, I guess. You and Fierce and the rest of your party feel full of energy yet again. So we all slept in one bed, fantastic. Makes perfect sense. Do you want to press uh, the button to disable? Yes, let's do it. Lock disabled. Three of the four locks are still active. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. <laughs> All right. Um, I was expecting like a boss of something, but oh, what is this? Oh, I can teleport, nice. But I want. So that's a, that's a nifty fast travel without actually tra fast traveling. Uh, I almost never saw my mom my whole life. Oh, is that the time for a backstory reveal? <laughs> Penny, she, she was always busy at work. Hardly ever came home. I cooked for myself, cleaned for myself, but most of it was only when I had to talk to. Oh, here we go. Number two. Finally. The second research station. About time, too. About time indeed, because uh, even my coffee starts start to get a little cold. Phew, let's head in and uh, take a breather. Yeah, I thought you were a bit more stamina than a, you know, student cows girl. <laughs> oh, I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. That was me being sarcastic. <laughs> my, my, my team is already idiots. What the hell is that? I that's a weird looking jelly puff. What the jeez? Pew! Oh my god, so cute, but also evil like me. That's a weird looking jelly puff. Pew! Puff! <laughs> whoa, whoa, what the freak? So it's battle time. Oh, just me and you now? Can we actually catch it? That looks kind of cool, actually. I want to catch this Pokemon. But I, I think we're meant to destroy it. Destroy it. <laughs> 62? Okay. I'm, my Pokemon is starting to get a little on the weaker end. I gotta watch out for that. Does it affect? No! Okay, no. Oh no! Oh no! So what are those Pokemon? Dark Pulse. Sure. That's also terrible. Oh my god, this is gonna, <laughs> this is gonna be bad. <laughs> I might need to switch out. Like, who can I use? Let's put a Lambo. Maybe I'll use a fighting move or something. Still fast asleep. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna wake you right up. No, that was terrible. No! Okay, it wasn't fighting. I wasn't fighting. And that was a critical too, and that's, that's terrible. That's terrible. At least the music is fantastic. 
I feel like I'm in a in a rave. Dread Knight! Can't believe Jigglypuff is getting like so, so much trouble. The wild screen tail. So it's not even Jigglypuff, it's a screen tail. That's weird. Oh my god, back to sleep again. This is terrible. I need to go all out attack or something. Why am I not doing any crazy damage? Alright, uh. Dragon Rush? Please don't miss. I mean, how, how do you miss with a sleeping Pokemon? And you. Oh, it doesn't affect. God damn. This is a strong ass Pokemon. No, I woke up! It's probably gonna go to rest again. Hyper Voice! You can attack both of the. That's not cool. Oh my god, please kill him! Please kill him! Dark Pulse! Yes! Why was that so difficult? <laughs> Am I that underleveled? Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared me to half to death! It was definitely kind of uh, furious uh, for a jelly puff, wasn't it? No kidding! Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump skill like that, I mean, I'm done for. Yeah, I can't play for an F. Well, this looks kind of uh, like a must of the way. Well, this looks pretty much the same as the first one. It's like, it's like Pokemon Company just copy and paste. <laughs> Seems like the wild Pokemon do not come here though. Well, let's say to catch a breath. Eh. Hey, seriously, what is this place? That Pokemon? Where, where do you take us, Arvin? I've been wondering about that myself. I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these. Huh? What's that book? Monsters of Area Zero. As we ascend further to Area Zero, we begin to ca catch a glimpse of mysterious Pokemon, though we wondered if these huge, ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing him to retreat for a, for a time. A member of the survey team captured his photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance of a Pokemon known as Donphan. Yet differences such as its sheer size and the shape of its back sets apart, as do its great tusk. Monsters of Area Zero? So they aren't Pokemon? Nah, I don't really know. What do you think, Sophia? I think just regular Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, same. I mean, they look different, sure, but they use moves and battle just like the Pokemon we know. I suppose that the time for comes for an explanation. Yes, please. <laughs> Professor? Some of the life forms that you see residing now within Area Zero are ancient Pokemon that lived in a distant past, long lost to us. Ooh, ancient, ancient Pokemon! I don't believe it. What? That's awesome. Oh, come on! There's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab that we were located contains a time machine. It summons the ancient Pokemon to this place. What? So the thing my mom spent forever researching down here, she actually got it working? No way! Indeed, though the cost was catastrophic at best. The cost? You mean like a million dollars? But a time machine? You, you mean you can actually travel to and from the past? It is theoretically possible to travel to the past. However, for a being such as human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's... Horrifying. Mom, you. Why'd you call us here at Area Zero? Tell me now. Ar Arvin, I. <sighs> it's possible. I'd like to talk when we meet face to face. It'll be easy for you to understand once you see the situation for yourself. Yeah. <sighs> Now then, Sophia, press that little button there, please. Be a little, be a lamb. Press that button. Press the button. All right, two more to go. Well done. Please continue your efforts at remaining research stations. Hey, Sophia. You know that book she told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. And more like... 
everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one who she expects to fix whatever is all here. You are. I think you were the one to carry it. Really? Alright. Can, can I read it? A record the history author Heath went through. Okay. Uh, the book was uh, named Sada. On it. Take good care of it, okay, Sophia? Don't lose it. I want to. Can I take a look at it? Or is this a key item? I think it's just a key item. Okay, nothing cool at all with it. All right. Anyway, um, this is gonna. It's actually a lot longer than I expected because we still have two more of these things to go. So unfortunately, I'm gonna stop here for now. But thank you guys so much for the view. It's been a fantastic, fantastic journey. Um, but again, we have more to explore. Two more of these, and I'm still not feeling like super crazy with this whole Professor Sada thing. Um, I don't know what she said, so, unless that's his personality, but her personality is like very robotic. But um, I feel kind of sus about that. Obviously, don't spoil it. You guys play, obviously this game is like super old, right? By, by, by the time this, this episode actually airs. But don't spoil it in the comments, please. Please, I beg of you, uh, viewers out there. Uh, even if it's one viewer out there. But nevertheless, regardless of what happens, thank you guys so much for the view and sticking around for this very end. Um, love you guys so much, obviously. If you guys are interested in supporting the show, I do have a affiliate link down below. If you guys want to pick up your own game, um, own copy of this game, it gets a, like, a little small percentage back to us here in the in another entertainment brand. And of course, uh, if you guys want to check out any of the Pokemon openings that I did, I did recently do a Pokemon unboxing. Definitely check out that video right there of the latest Paldean Fates. Definitely check that out. It's been a great little adventure. And of course, more of these in the future. We're, but again, end game coming up and we have a new game, a new game coming up. So again, that's all I got. Love you guys and I'll definitely see you there. My name is Talos. This is Pokemon Scarlet. And I'll see you next time. Peace.